Hello once again. In this video, we are going to look at sequences, how you can create a new sequence, how you can use filters in the sequence, how you can look at the subscriber details. And this is the video number four in ConvertKit training series. If you haven't watched the previous videos where we convert how to create your broadcasts, how to look at subscriber data and how to create landing pages and forms, I would suggest you go and check out the link in the description below. So let's get started. Then you can also create sequences. The sequence are nothing but a series of emails which goes to a user. And um, let's say a user signed up for an email list or they are interested in learning about Facebook ads. Okay. And uh, there is another user who wants to learn about Twitter ads. So what we can do is we can create two sequences, one for Facebook ad and another one for Twitter ads. Someone who is interested in Facebook ad, we can simply add them to sequence which is Facebook ads and there could be a series of five, six emails or depending on how much you want to include and those emails will be sent out to that user automatically and similarly if someone for Twitter ads will add them to a Twitter ad sequence and then they will receive those emails. So let's say how to create a sequence. So we'll click on new sequence. Let's say we'll take the same example Facebook ad beginner. Okay, so I mean, this is a sequence where someone is a beginner in Facebook and so we want them to learn Facebook and help them with that. So create a sequence. And in sequence, you will see this is the first email, this is the default generic template that is created. You can create multiple emails. So this is the sequence. What is the status? It is in draft, when to send, after one day. So whenever someone is added to this sequence, after one day, they will start this receiving this email. So let's say first email is what is let, let's do this lesson one what is Facebook ad okay and then you can say whatever Facebook ad is the medium to promote your business to billions of people worldwide okay whatever <laughs> and then you can save it right now whatever you want to type in the content if you want to add more emails you can add more email the second email again you can change something like this lesson number two when do you want it still in draft when do you want to send it after one day and then whatever next content is so but these are sequence so what will happen is someone who enters the sequence first email this lesson word will be sent to them after one day they enter the email and the less lesson number two will be sent plus one day so if someone receives the first email let's say on monday and the lesson two is set up to be sent after one day then they will receive the second lesson on tuesday but if you want to change it you can change it let's say change it to send email after two days in this case they will get the lesson number two on wednesday you can also change these if you want if the second day falls on a monday but you do really don't want to send emails on Monday, so then you can uncheck that. So once it sees that Monday is not available, then whatever the next day is available in your settings, the email will be sent on that day. Okay. You can also filter users again. So let's say I have few users who are interested in Facebook ads, but they have uh, shown an interest in uh, another product as well. Okay. So let's say my one of my email is uh, in the sequence is talking about let's say Twitter ads okay Twitter ads okay so in this email let's say email number three by default these three emails will go to everyone who is in the sequence but I simply want to send this email to just those guys who have shown additional interest in Twitter so in that again I can use this segmentation to matching all add filter let's say I have a tag I am I have already tagged those people as uh, someone who's interested in Twitter so I could simply use that tag and add that filter so what will happen is only those people whom I have selected here will receive this email. So th everyone is part of that email sequence, but only few people you will get that email. 
so save all and then uh, you can simply when you're ready everything is ready simply go to active and activate that email you can have multiple emails in your sequence so this is how you can create sequences so before we go further i want to show you some of the tags so you want to tag your subscribers based on their interest level or if they product by bought any product so you can simply create a tag let's say interested in let's say interested in my course one course number one okay so once i refresh that it shows up here interested in my course number one okay so let's say if this person if you find any person who is interested in that let's say you found this person and you can add them to this tag add tag interested in my person so right now we are doing it manually but you can also do it automatic by clicking when they click any link on the email then you can also also tag them so this is interested in my course click on save and if you go to this user profile then you will see that this person has this tag so later on when you want to filter out some email or send the email just to these people who are interested in course number one you can simply use this filter interested in my course and send the broadcast or emails to that person when you open up a subscriber you will also be able to look at the email address their first name or what if you have any additional fields also all the tags that user have the email history what are the emails that they have received whether they have opened the email or they have not opened the email so if you go there it shows opened on so and so date if they would have clicked it the symbol would have changed and it would have shown that clicked automations if the user is in any automations it will show up here if user is part of any sequence it is also show up and what is the form they used to sign up so this one is the form my landing page which was inactive probably that's why uh, and then go to purchases maybe that's why i didn't receive the email because it we didn't activate it <coughs> and then purchases if they purchase any product something and then you can create as many tags as you want and similarly you can create segments you can add subscribers as i said as a single subscriber when you click on that enter the name email address you must add a tag or a form any of these things to them when you add a new subscriber click on this you can also import from a csv you can also import from another provider you can select from which provider you're bringing them for these are other email marketing tools we will go over automations and automation is really advanced feature and really nice feature that you can use in this video you looked at how we have created different sequences how we have used filters and how you can also look at subscriber data in convertkit in our next video we are going to look at a pretty advanced concept called automations in convertkit using automations you can do a lot of complex things which were really not possible before so just look for that link in the description below